This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you're having a very good weekend. This is coming out on a Saturday, this video. And um, to, I'm only recording this two days before on the Thursday. So, um, yeah. Normally, I, well, recently I've been like a week in, in advance, but I've not been feeling very well this week. I actually I put a post on my Facebook page. <coughs> I've, uh, I've had like a really bad cough and a sore throat. It's, it's better now, it's been worse throughout the week. And uh, I had like an earache as well, but that's enough about me and illnesses and that I'm, I'm getting over it so yeah i'm recording this on a thursday and it's coming out on the saturday so it's uh it's going to be pretty much up to date if you like so yes um anyway we are in newbury this morning we are on our way to build base are you going around yes yeah. come on then yes yeah, so we're on our way to uh build base in newbury we're just around the corner about four or five minutes away and um so our first stop of the day, because today's Thursday, um, I left um, this morning at about four o'clock in the morning from, from Quicklade, which is in Swindon. Come down to Southampton. Luckily, the A34 just opened in time. It was closed until six. So I might have had to go down to Andover first and then uh, come down to Southampton. But luckily, the A34 opened just in time this morning, so that's good. Um, yeah, so we got down into Southampton for about six, ten past six, roughly. And um, yeah, we didn't end up leaving until about half past seven. They had to have their staff meeting again. So um, that put me behind schedule. It's now nine o'clock, just gone. And um, we've still got a load on. So it's one of those days today where it's, it's a late start. Nothing to do with my fault. Nothing, nothing to do with me. Not my fault, it's a late start. But. Um, that's just the way it is. We've only got two runs scheduled today, I've already asked. We're going to do this Newbury run, and then we have to go to F Petersfield later. So um, that'd be fun. I like Petersfield. I like the guys there. I know some of them watch my vlogs as well. So if you're watching these vlogs, if you're watching this vlog, rather, um, then hello, mate. Whichever one of you's watching. But yeah, I get on with a few of them. So yeah, we need to turn right at these traffic lights, and then we can get in. This build base is one of those sites that I don't really like delivering to. I deliver to it quite a lot. I don't necessarily like delivering to this place. It's easy enough to get in, but you've got to do a reverse out. It's not a hard reverse. It's just a reverse I'd rather not do. Why are you indicating right? You can't cross three lanes to go right. There's a car there. I don't know if you can see. Oh. My okay, GoPro's my dash cam's on too tight. You can just see it. On the left-hand side, there's that Volkswagen. She's indicating to turn right. She can't turn right here. Surely. There's three lanes of traffic, then a hatched area, and then a lane there. Nah, not allowed to turn right there. It's dangerous one lane lets her through, the other lane doesn't know she's coming through and it could cause a crash, do you know what I mean? Man, those lights turn red quickly. There's a build base truck in front there, so I'm not gonna be able to go straight in, I don't think. Um, in other news, um, I have recently acquired myself with a new sponsor. When I say new, I don't mean replacing my old, I've got another sponsor, a second sponsor. In the, um, in the name of Chrome, some people might have heard about them, some people might not have. But basically they do like a load of um, cleaning products. You've got, uh, this is some of the stuff they sent me. So you've got Super Fabric Cleaner, Very Cherry. What else we got? We got Pink, which is my favorite. I actually uh, got a five liter bottle and I put it into an old bottle, which is why it looks pretty nasty. Pink. Uh, window glass cleaner they are honestly they're a great company and I'm I'm super happy to be associated with them 
Yeah, it's still a red light, mate. Still a red light, mate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's not right for you, uh, green for you, mate. Come, I'm leaving him space to come back, but he isn't. And I've also, they also sent me out this as well. I've got um, Melon Blast. It's, it's an air freshener, but it comes out like proper fast, like really nice. And it smells nice as well. As well as various other things they're giving me. They're giving me some air fresheners and I got some other stuff in the side locker as well. <coughs> and I couldn't fit it all in the door. So yeah, they, they, they sell really nice stuff. Um, check out the link in the description below if you want to get any. It's really nice stuff. And also, I was setting up a discount code with them um, where you get 10% off. They, they've agreed to it. <coughs> Just waiting for them to set it all up on their website. So I'm trying to get it so that you, um, if you write Luke C, then you get 10% off your order. So that'd be good. And it, they're a really well-known company. Some of you might have heard of them already, but some of you might not have. They tend to go to a lot of like truck fests and things like that. And I would say a lot of people who look after their trucks, uh, like cleaning wise, would will definitely know of them. So um, yeah, definitely good. I got an embellish in the back as well, which like brings out the shine. But I, I want to wait until the vehicle gets wrapped first. In terms of when the vehicle is getting wrapped, this truck, I don't, I still don't know. My boss said February, March time, so that's sort of this month slash next month. But nothing else has been done on it yet, like lights and stuff, horns, beacons, that sort of thing. So I don't know, I need to have a, a word and ask him when exactly it's going to be done. Right, so you've just got to go down here. 600 yards is a roundabout, and then we turn left. Just after the roundabout. Apologies if my throat does sound a little bit weird, or I sound a little bit weird. Like I said, I'm recovering from an illness this week, so... <coughs> That's why I might sound a bit weird. Right, nearly there. I'm hoping we can get in near enough straight away because although I've only got two runs scheduled for today, I would like to get back, get loaded with the preload for tomorrow morning and try and deliver it today, ideally. Because I bet you I've got three deliveries tomorrow. I would much rather do three deliveries today and two deliveries tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? Tomorrow's Friday. Get to go home a bit earlier then. Okie dokie, so we're going to turn left here. Nothing coming out, that's good. That BMW's had a bit of a shunt, hasn't it? I have left my sunglasses at home today, which is not good because it's a proper sunny day. So I need to have a break at some point. I'm hoping I can get back to Southampton after I get tipped here um, and park up by the bridge and then walk over to Boots or something and see if they've got any um, sunglasses because I've bought some nice pairs from Boots before in the past. But I'm definitely have to, gonna have to buy some sunglasses because it's a really nice day today and I haven't got any. And sunglasses are definitely an essential item. Oh, as you can't see. Right, so I need to let them know I am here and I suspect I'm going to have to wait a little bit to get in. But um, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys um, when we're tipped. Right, we're now tipped. We now need to get out of here. So we just need to go forward so we get a line out. And then we've got to reverse onto the main road. Got a banksman to watch me out, which is good. My lorry is filthy, I need to clean it. Good job I got all that stuff, you know, from Chrome. Uh, I must point out that I'm not only sponsored by Chrome, I'm also sponsored by Trailer Training UK. If you are interested in getting your HGV license, go through them um, and quote Luke C, because again, you get a discount. Um, by quoting my name, it's, I think it's 5% you get with 
trailer train in the UK. And uh, obviously, depending on what license you want to go for, I say it costs a grand. Um, Five percent of a grand is like fifty quid off, so you can't can't grumble at saving fifty quid. I expect it to be at least fifty quid you save. Obviously, it depends on the course that you go for. But yeah, definitely uh, do trailer training in the UK at Shell. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I hope I get better over the weekend. Right, clear left, clear right. It's not this bit, which is the hard bit, it's the uh, getting onto the road. You've got to do a, a left and a right, or a right and a left, as I'm going backwards. So you've got to get the angle right. I don't think I've ever got out in one go without having to do a shunt. We'll try. <coughs> do, 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 do. Uh, so we will be heading back to Southampton. And then we need to stop and get some sunglasses because I, I definitely need a pair. So there's a, a 4x4 that started coming down on the left hand side and my trailer is now starting to swing out in, into his path. So I had to stop. Sun is bright. With a bit of luck, we might have just done this in one shunt. Just got to get out of here now. It's a blind side reverse. Um, all he does is stops the traffic. You don't actually watch your back. And I have had an occasion where a vehicle has tried coming down. Too many guts there. That's it, we're out. Cheers, bud. So we did that in one go, that was quite good. All these cars are like, damn you for making me stop. <laughs> So yeah, we're on our way back to Southampton now. Get loaded and then go to Petersfield. I need to ask Days if I can use their wash. You want to turn right? Yeah, I need to ask Days if I can use their jet wash because um, the lorry gets dirty doing the work for them. So I'm hoping they'll let me use it. Because my lorry is minging inside and out. So, I definitely will be spending tonight cleaning it. So we spot lots, and you might even see some of the cleaning. Who knows? If it interests you, it'll probably be at the end of today's vlog. But for now, next step is to head back to Southampton and go grab some glasses. So, I'll see you guys in Southampton. Right. So we managed to get back down to Southampton um, with enough time driving time so um, we will be having a break uh, around the corner from where we get loaded so I can go and grab a some sunglasses and B some food and drink okay let's go 
So yeah, we will be parking up. Now, if there was no cars parked here on the left, then I would have parked up here. But um, there are cars, so we're gonna have to go park up near the bridge, which is not a problem. He obviously works some days, where I'm getting loaded from. So does this white lorry coming down here as well. I wonder if he lets me go right first. Be nice if he lets me go. So yeah, I'm gonna to pop to co-op and then also around the corner. I can't remember whether it's a boots or a super drug, but I'm gonna go and have a look. And um, hopefully they got some sunglasses. My throat is starting to go a bit croaky again where I've been ill this week. But <coughs> I do apologize. I wouldn't mind getting my bus license one day. One day. Right, Cliff, are you gonna let me go or are you gonna go? What's he doing? I don't know, he's pointing at the front of the cab. I don't know why. I'll have to have a look when I stop. Bus is letting me through. Right, so let's go left here. And we'll probably just park up behind the dustbin. Yeah, we'll just park up under the dustbin for now. Just gonna reverse back a little bit. Get closer to the curb. Okay. We are close to the curb. Right, so I'm going to go and hopefully buy some sunglasses, get some food, check out what. Cliff was pointing at, so on the front, put it on brake, and um, uh, I just basically chill out for a little bit. Oh, my voice. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so my brake is nearly over. Nearly over. Um, so I thought, I'll show you the glasses I bought, and I bought two pairs of glasses. I thought I'll leave one in the lorry and I'll leave one in my car. So I won't have the, uh, the same problem whereby I take my glasses home with me and then my daughter then moves the glasses so I can't find them in the morning, which is what happened. So I bought two pairs of glasses. They're only, they're only £10 each. This is the first pair. This is probably what I would normally go for, to be honest with you. Just a normal pair of glasses. You know, I'm looking in the mirror, by the way. Um, so these are what I would normally go for, to be honest with you. But then I also saw these glasses and I thought they look a bit... I mean, I'm not an expert, but they kind of look trendy, and I wouldn't say it was my style. Um, but I thought I'd give them a go, see what they're like. And I thought I've got these ones as well. So, um, they're sort of, they're plastic, they're all clear with the shiny mirror. I like, I like them, actually, so I think I'm going to wear these. But if you think they look better, let me know. But I'm going to be wearing these glasses. If you don't like it, tough. If you do like it, great. Um, right, yeah, so. <coughs> break is nearly done. Five more minutes and then we'll go around the corner, get loaded and uh, make our way to Petersfield. Now I'm often asked, what do I like most about driving? And to be honest with you, it's now. The sun's out, I've got music on. Window will be going down in a second and I'm just on the motorway, just driving. I love my job and I love driving. So let's put the window down. Let's whack up the music. Turns out, and let's just keep driving. I love my job.
Right, we're a go. We are a go to go in. No sign of that other truck either. So I don't know where he's gone. But uh, he in here, so that's good. And I beat him. <coughs> I'm hoping this cough is seriously going to go away over the weekend. Or <coughs> maybe tomorrow. I'm sorry, by the way, if you're listening to me on headphones. Rest in peace. In we go. Kicking up some dust. All right, we're in. We are in. This is our second drop and the last drop for the day. So after this, we uh, head back to Southampton and uh, preload for the morning. I don't think it get delivered today. Uh, what time is it now? So it's half past one now, so I'm going to be here till half past two probably. And then it takes an hour, just over an hour to get back. Well, about an hour. So I'm looking at half past three back in Southampton. Won't be loaded until four o'clock, and no one takes deliveries after four anyway, so I expect I'll be parked up between four o'clock and half past four. And if the weather's like this, that's going to be nice. See you in a bit. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price beat they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. <laughs> right, off we go. <coughs> the van's moved up a little bit. I'm still not 100% sure if I'm going to get round him. Should be able to. Take it nice and wide. Start the rain. Yeah, it's starting to rain, man. It was proper sunny on the way down here. I was loving it. Awesome weather. When the sun is out, like it's not actually. It's not majorly warm outside, it's 10 degrees out at the moment. But on the way down, it was sunny, you need sunglasses. And then I cheat, I put the, um, the heating on to like something like 24, 25 degrees inside, put it on auto, and then it's like it's, like it's summer, do you know what I mean? Because it's sunny outside, you're, you're warm in a t-shirt, and it does feel a little bit like summer. And with, with the window down as well, put the, the heating on full blast, and uh, it, feels, it feels lush, it really does. And I love, I love driving in the summer. Can't wait to get another suntan. It hurts your arm. If you see my old Class 2 videos when I'm driving in the summer, I'm like red raw. So hopefully I uh, look after myself a little bit more this summer. But yeah, I love it. Get a bit of a tan. A bit red, a bit hot and a bit sweaty. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is sleeping at night in the summer because you've got to have the windows down as you boil. But the problem with having windows down, obviously, is that um, someone might jump in. I've literally got nowhere to go other than in here. I'm like, my train is still going to stick out a little bit. Yeah, they made it. That's cool. So, as previously mentioned, today's Thursday. At the time of recording this video, you're watching it on Saturday. But on Thursday, i.e. now when I'm recording, a video has gone live, it went live at 12 o'clock and I've been looking at some of the comments and you've suggested that you quite like the camera angle on the back, on the trailer. So 
if that's something you guys like, that's something I'm going to try and do a little bit more of. If you like it. <coughs> the problem I've got at the moment is that I've got two GoPros. Number What I call GoPro 1 is you guys, you're looking at me now. Uh, now. And I've got a GoPro 2. GoPro 2 is um, normally the one that goes on outside because it's got a little bit of a smudgy spot on the footage and you'll probably see it. People have spotted it in the past. I don't know why, is there's just a smudge on the screen. I've tried cleaning the screen and everything, but I think it's on the inside. And um, the reason I have it on the outside of the vehicle when I record is because if it goes missing or falls off, I've still got a decent one here. So, um, yeah, the only problem with using that out GoPro outside is that it's not great quality, so I do need to invest and get another one at some point. I did buy a couple of cheap 4K cameras, didn't I, not long ago, but um, they weren't ideal for me. They just, I don't like, I didn't like them at all. Oh, come on. I'm gonna go now. Yeah, when I um, transferred it onto the computer, the video would go over, but the audio wouldn't. I will lift you up in a sec, let me just put my glasses on. Yeah, the uh, the audio, the video of the 4K cameras that I had uh, would, would go over, but there'd be no audio. Um, which wouldn't be an issue if I bought an external microphone that plugged into my pocket or something, like an, a voice recorder, which I am considering purchasing at some point soon. <coughs> but at the time I didn't have one, so couldn't do it. <coughs> Sorry. I am ill, like I said. If you follow me on Facebook, you would have seen a post that I put up. I've been taking Hall's sweets, paracetamol, I've been drinking lots of water. And I suffer from a condition called um, pussy lightest <laughs> and what that is is um, when I cough I make myself gag and when I make myself gag I want to be sick <laughs> so um, yeah I haven't been sick today but pretty much every day this week I've been sick so um, luckily I've, I've not been driving because I don't want to be sick over myself that'd, that'd be appalling it's normally when I'm out and about helping with the bags I don't mean full-on sick I just mean I'm sorry if you're eating by the way <laughs> I just mean coughing and gagging and then I'm like <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that's sort of sick. Nothing really bad or anything. Anyway, that's enough of sickness. The more you think about how ill you are, the more ill you feel. And, uh, I don't want to feel ill, so let's not talk about it. Let's enjoy a whole sweet, though. Need to buy some more. This was a whole packet, yeah, two days ago. I've been, I've been, uh, eating these like they're going out of fashion. Ah. Right, so plan now is to head back to Southampton. ETA is 10 to 3. Um, so we're actually a little bit ahead of schedule compared to what I thought we were going to be. With a bit of luck, we'll be out by half past three. And I'm still not going to make it to wherever I need to go. So that means parked up for about half past three. Which is good. I've made a start cleaning on the inside of the cab. I need to do the dash over there on the passenger seat. But I've done everything around me in the cockpit and the floor and the uh, fridge but I need to do the passenger side. I then want to scrub my seats as well. I've got some um, fabric cleaner that Chrome sent over to me. So I'm going to do the seats. Um, I haven't asked about using day's wash yet. I might ask them later. It would be nice to give the outside a blast first. If not, I'm going to have to hand wash it. I got a, uh, a spray a bottle in, in this uh, locker. And inside it's just got soapy water. It's literally soapy water. And I spray it on and then use a cloth to wipe all the dirt. And I normally go over it two times and then it looks nice and clean. So I plan on doing that, do it two times, and then use my embellish to try and get a shine on. And hopefully it will uh, keep it clean all day tomorrow. I'll have to check the weather actually, because if it's going to be hammering it down with rain tomorrow, I um, might be in, uh, disinclined to do the full embellish work treatment. Well, it would be a waste otherwise. So yeah, let's make our way back to Southampton, let's get loaded and then let's see what we're doing. By the way, sorry for mentioning in the last video about bashing one out. I um, can't remember in what, which context I used that in. I think it was bash out a load, get a load done, let's bash it out. And uh, <laughs> someone put, we don't want to know what you do in your personal time. So <laughs> I assure you in my personal time, I do not bash one out. I've got a girlfriend at home waiting for me guys. Right, so we're now loaded for the morning. We are going to Aldermaston, which is uh, 
48 miles away from where we are now and it takes about an hour and 20 minutes to get there but um they won't tip me until half seven according to the paperwork it says half seven tip which means i don't have to leave until six o'clock tomorrow morning here <coughs> so <coughs> so um yeah there's not really anywhere to park on the way unless I park at services. I don't fancy paying for services. So, um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna park up now, to be fair. I'm just trying to think if there's anywhere nearby that I can park. I'm sure there's a lay-by somewhere, but uh, just trying to think, I don't think there is. So rather than risk it, I'm just going to park up now for tonight and then leave leave at uh, 6 o'clock the latest. If I get there for 7 and i got to wait half an hour, I've got to wait half an hour. But I'm probably going to get up about half 5 tomorrow morning and then uh, make a move up to Aldermaston. We've got three runs scheduled for tomorrow. We've got to do the first one, which is Aldermaston, which is what we're loaded on now. And then we've got to do a Totten which would be Sydenham's. And then we've got to go and do another Newbury uh, build base, which is what we did in the beginning of this vlog. So we're just going to park up under this bridge. We're going to try and do a U-turn or 180, whatever you want to, however you want to word it. Don't want to turn the trailer too tight though. Got loads of room. All right, let's put the hazards on because I am going into the road. And then we're going back in a straight line. Give or take. Some kid just ran behind me. Nearly there. A little bit more. That'll do. So that's just done for the day, and it's only 20 to 4. We were actually in there quite a while waiting to get loaded so um yeah we finished a little bit later than what i was expecting to finish because i thought i was going to be parked up by three but uh it's not the end of the world 20 to 4 15 40 it is 15 40 i started at four o'clock this morning it's 20 to 4 now so that's 11 hours and 40 minutes today and I'm finishing on mileage double five, 37, 25. That's what I'll be starting on tomorrow. Double five, 37, 25. And I better list down the jobs I've done today. So it's just the two jobs today. It was Newbury and Petersfield. And we are loaded for automation. And I'm not gonna write down Totten and Newbury yet, just in case it changes. Hazards off, lights off. So uh, yeah, so that's paperwork done. I um, what I need to do now is I need to get out of the cab and do a walk around check. Like I said before, I, I always <coughs> do like an end of shift finish, make sure everything's all right. Uh, and if it's not all right, then I uh, make it all right if I can. If I can't make it all right, at least I've got plenty of time to try and call someone to make it right before I've got to start tomorrow morning. So yes, that's the plan. Um, I also plan on doing a little bit of cleaning, but you don't want to see any cleaning. You know what cleaning looks like. You don't need to see it, do you? So, that's it. We're done. We're loaded. 
I'll just take you outside so you can see the load and then we'll finish the vlog. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit though, so you might have to bear with me with the wind noise. Uh, as you can see, the truck's pretty minging at the moment. It's got dirt all over it, look. So, what I plan to do in a second is uh, wipe all that clean. I won't be able to get all this done, but I'll try and get most of it done. I might just do a quick walk around, check, make sure everything's all okay. Make sure the tyres are sort of inflated and tomorrow morning when I start it'll be dark so it's good to check it now. I know I've got to check it again anyway. But there's absolutely no harm in checking it now and later. Here's all the bags look. So that's all that. Let's jump up. Ugh. I'll show you another shot. So that's all back there. Doing a bit of uh, gymnastics here. So yes, all good. Look at this lap. I could spell my name if I wanted to. So I was going to end the vlog there, but I've just spent the last hour or so cleaning the cab. I mean, it's still dirty on the back, but I just spent an hour or so cleaning the front, the white stuff. So, the only places I haven't really cleaned is, uh, cleaned is the places that are high up, like the windows and the mirrors. But I've done as much as I can. Either side. So yeah, well actually, it's still a bit, still a bit wet there. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you, just before I ended the vlog, how dirty it was, and then it's a lot cleaner now. I mean, it's still not perfect, because uh, it's all done by hand. I mean, it'd be ideal if I had a jet wash first, and give it a proper clean first before I hand wash it, but uh, never mind. This is best as I can really get it. So, yes. Now it's the end of the vlog. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed it. There's some of this stuff floating the door. Sponsored by Crew. <laughs> uh, this is Saturday, so I'm also sponsored by Trailer Truck Training UK. So yes, um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out both my sponsors, Trailer Training UK. Get 5% discount if you quote Luxy, and also check Chrome out as well. 10% uh, off is what we are aiming to get done. They've said yes, they can do it. Just waiting for the discount code to uh, to be activated. So yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye.